Extending it straight out, smoke over the top. Surely that's heading towards Connector, and indeed it is, as they take a lot of control. And actually, Siri was a little bit of a way off of the bomb. They need to get this down, and they've already lost Heavy God. Yeah, good setup here from Nine. Even if they don't have anyone on the site, Hades just sitting back towards CT, gets one for free, falls back playing super passive while the rest of the team comes through jungle and connector. That smoke did slow them down a bit. They had three players in mid that had to regroup through the window. With a kit, a smoke, and a player advantage, surely they can fight their way through this. Although, Hades has fallen. That's good control to CT. Smoke comes through to cover the bomb, but they have to get past all these players. Mighty Max behind the site hitting one, but CTs are finding their mark. 2v3 now, that clock's slowly ticking down. K finds another big kill. All now onto the IGL. Mighty Max tucked into the back, and now we hit that 10 second mark. He hits another shot. The bomb. Oh, he might just have enough time. No, the kit not on his back. So it is going to be the pistol Round going the way. It's blown it. wide open. Ram player is now starting to show a bit of presence, make some noise. CD Smoke is in, and Minio's caught off guard. This round is flipping on his head. Yeah, it's a bit scary. Him going down there without any opportunity on K now. He's not one way, but he falls off. But Goofy has found one on the rotation. That's true from Connector, I think, actually crossing from short. Now onto the site. They're all fumbling, not quite able to find a way through. Surreal does strike. Now they don't have any smokes, no way to find this ground. And Hades strikes with the AWP. So, what? Yeah, not the tastiest treat. Surreal moving on forward. Is spotted out and dealt with easily enough. Trying to find a bit of a timing there into Connector. Heavy God is able to get one in response. Infestor just walks out short and removes Goofy. It's a lot of pressure onto Kyla now. He's stepped up against Mighty Max. Notice that AWP was in towards Apartment, so he's a little worried about it, but short is the play. Finds Fessor as well. 2v2. Hades over on the A site. Heavy God, his presence was noted here. They have so much time to work with on the endpoint side, and Niner split. I don't think the vent is broken in ladder room. Indeed, it is actually so. MHO can move around a little bit easier. Kylar taking space though in towards the B apartments. As Heavy God heads back in this direction, it feels like a B convergence is soon to come, and Heavy God could be walking right into the grasp of Kylar. What an off angle. Surely Heavy God doesn't clear, and he does. Hades is massively out of position now. One on two, and this bomb should be planted. He's got no way to stopping this. The flames come through. Can't push forward any further. Couple of flashbangs. Has the kit, but would need to find one of these initial kills quickly. If he got up in the app, it's not going to be peeking on him. Just hitting, waiting for a flank to come through. Yeah, if he's not given something immediately, you don't want to throw out this AWP. You've only just managed to pick it up. They so indeed, a, a slight out. hunt. And well, he strikes first. MHL falls. And there are a lot of players on the CT side over towards A. The endpoint, they don't want to stick around after hearing that AWP. Uh, Hades loves that angle. Just peeking from stairs at the bottom of the stairs onto ramp. Heavy God swings out. Really awkward exchange over the one way, and there's too many players facing. Pistols finding frags. AK trying to be recovered, but it's not there. And thank God trade's coming back in endpoint's favor. Free on free now. But the ever-elusive Hades is still about. They need to really think hard about avoiding him. It looks very scary there when that kill comes through over the smoke, but they got a little greedy. Kyla wanted to get that AK. This K is going to get an opportunity to pick it up. I'd be happy to pick it. Oh, one bullet. Reload comes through. Vessel's definitely heard that. Bomb is coming over this way, but doesn't have to commit. They got to play a top mid. Vessel underpass, so they can come through towards A if they want to. Hades hasn't budged. I, we haven't really seen him rotate much towards B. He does much prefer staying on the A side of the map. See if he decides to budge yet. Yeah, he is moving through CT now, so with no contact coming through and time low, I think they're potentially going to make the call. Oh, still hasn't moved, so he's not going to budge. Everything onto K here over towards B. The Molotovs come through, utility behind it. He needs to find at least one here, and there it is, the bomb dropped. Now he can fall back, wait for his teammates to rotate, ready for Fessel coming down short as well. Who needs the AWP when you got K on the side? A huge triple kill. Pushes in further, seeing absolutely nothing. Should know players have turned around. Big duel. And Minio loses. And now that information is gone. Nine surely have to take a risk. Just load up a bomb site with three players and pray you've made the right decision. Because right now, having a player committed sandwich, you've got one on catwalk. I mean, unless there's a lack of utility onto onto B market, you're not gonna get the good fights. And nine aren't leaning the right way. The bomb's go going over towards A and I mean, Key's going to have to be an absolute monster to turn this around. I guess the first one, the Heavy Guard, 
Drops the smoke to defend himself, but Surreal coming through the apartments as well. Doesn't actually connect his shots. And they're getting Time. peppered on down here. He's found another sitting in the smoke. Look how low they all are. But they're spamming him. He can't quite find them. Somehow another dancing around the smoke. He's done it all. They Every single one of them falls on the site. And he's was lucky to get away with his life there as well. Dancing past the orb of MHL. Okay, you absolute menace. Look at him. Okay. He's gone shark mode. Darn it, darn it. Bomb revealed. Dropped. MHL though has struck, and I don't think he feels confident pushing this any further. Heavy Gods arrived, and an awkward headshot oh. door goes the way of K. This man is not missing. 19 kills to his name this first half. Potentially more to the tally. MHL peering on up. It's another headshot. Lining them up. Bowling them over. Flames come through. And Mighty Max eventually gets the trade. That puts it back into a two-on-two. -two. Goofy's pushed B as well. So that's going to allow Hades to focus his attention towards A. But he's the only one here. Again, time is not an endpoint's favor. They have 20 seconds left. Making their way up ramp. Hades should be able to get a good read on this. If they go for a front, front plant here, he could maybe even spam it. But no, he's going to play it safe. Wait for that flank because it is going to arrive any second. This is the jewel. This is the jewel. Goofy peeking in front. Shadow not shown. Kill found. Max alone behind default. Player either side. They're not sure where he is just yet. Peeks out. Hades hits the deck. Can Max save them? He's had a great half. Not playing the best position. And now up against Goofy. Dancing around default. Not sure where Goofy is. Surely now knows it's near the plant spot. And Goofy wins out this time. Surely there's enough time for the defuse. As nine, I mean, that was a grind of a half. Multiple. Out of position then, as it will be another jungle take. There is a bit of a lurker though. And we'll see where Mr. Kyler activates in the end. A few spams, but um, given our endpoint of postured, a bomb plant should be nice and easy here. And Nine can think about their after plants. Well, the opening kill goes the way of Nine. And Kylo is being a menace over towards B. That was the lurk kill coming through. Goofy striking for one. Surreal gets the trade. That flank's coming through hot and fast. And, well, it doesn't even be needed because on the site, they're doing it all. From what I've seen of Endpoint since the change, he has been quite static. As the Nine players start taking in towards mid. Oh, this game is so awkward. Surreal loses the duel. He needs to win that, or the setup crumbles, and now they're giving a lot of space. Heavy God has to duck into ladder, and the next prong of the attack comes in. It's not mid, it's going to go over towards A, and they're getting a lot of space out of ramp. Not a good timing. Also real. MHL did find one, but Hades wins the head to head with the AWP. Fessor is between a rock and a hard place. That first rock is goofy, the hard place is behind him. Heavy God does chime in, though, with one. And with two players quite low, if they can find a kill, there's an avenue through. But both players approaching from the same side and they are smoked off. Dropping the rifle back. Maybe going to collect something a bit nicer. Yeah, it's an AK. And with both these players with cash on them, I guess they want to hold on to it. So they've got a full buy into the next. But, um, God can drop. Especially the CD side, there hasn't been a lot of pauses. T side, there were pauses trying to change the pace and do something about it. And I guess... This round, they're taking the spawns, going for palace aggression. Even trades for the moment, so I guess it's not the end of the world. But yeah, Nine have been so competent in these late round scenarios that you definitely wouldn't bet against them here. Alright, well they're going to be making their way towards B. Solo player here in Fessor. It's a good position. Has the information as well. The rotation come through. Now, does he want to fight this or does he want to wait for his teammates to arrive? He's tucked in a short at the moment. Covered by his teammate. Kyla's walked on through. Just spotted him, I think, on that second jiggle. Going to swing on out. Fessor out in the open. The flashbang was perfect. Mighty Max now rotates over. Have to go for this retake. Can't save this one. Bomb has been MHL's got a molly. Maybe that can be placed perfectly. But outside of that, I just can't see them isolating good enough jewels. This is going to be almost impossible. Give me a look at MHL. Spots one. Mighty Max swinging on out. K goes down. That's maybe an opportunity. Kyla goes down as well. Hades 
wins his duel. The Mighty Max is so low. Hades close with the orb, hits the shot, and it is a dominant side. A lot of presence around. Oh my god, they're all here. Four in attendance for endpoint. And nine aren't slowing down. Minio collects the first. Two behind sandbags. MHL peaking as well. Bomb is dropped, and this is getting really awkward for both teams, honestly. The trades for the moment heading in the favor of nine as the utility is a little bit too damaging. It's just Max. And with three players to find. Smoke is in front of him. Too many to deal with. Nine and early. There are two CTs here, but a good Molotovs on both sides. Flush them both back. And it's a fast hit over the top. Fessor able to get one. Trade is immediate and Kazen brought down low Surreal under a lot of pressure and a good trade spacing there. Able to swing out and remove him. So that bomb can make its way onto the site. Kazen a little bit low. And they'll be incentivized to go for this. They've got a kit, utility, and it's a 3v3. Double nades we play somewhere. Maybe default. Starting to rain over. K is very low. The time is starting to become a little bit of a problem. Crossfire is established. Max gets the first for Hades. And now Kylar can prime and go. Very hectic fight for the point. crossfire. This is it. UKCS standing up. Fessel goes down. But Surreal and MHL find a kill apiece. Kylar's brought down to half. They have the engagements favoring endpoint early. K is still alive and he is creeping on up. Heavy God accounts for it. This one's looking a lot better. Goofy caught off by the off angle. Before you know it, it's just Kyla left alone. Half HP. Finally, it looks like that uh, 19 round streak will come mm. to an end. Yeah, they must have talked between, between the rounds and said, guys, 20 rounds. That would be too much. It's too much to accept. And hopefully they don't get over Zealous in this one and give it away. There's a lot of time for Kylar. And Bomb is still in, in his possession in the maze over there. Surreal really shouldn't be peeking. And uh, yeah, as long as Max takes contact and Surreal can peek off it, Kylar shouldn't have any chances here. Ooh. Surreal spotted on the jiggle. So Kylar gets information. As mentioned, a lot of time to work with. He's waiting to see if that other jiggle comes through instead. Just trying to flush out Surreal. The Sentry falls a little short, though, so he's going to be safe. And now our third CT is rotated over, so surely no way into this with these angles that are being played. Mighty Max up on that bit of wood that's kind of tilted against the wall. Some construction materials left behind by the builders. This is the longest duel you'll ever see. Eventually, someone's going to get this kill. Kylar's begging for it. Please peek me, Surreal. And now he uh, has to peek because he needs to go down. And indeed, he does. Redeploy the Lurk Smoke to continue to play around. But with Heavy God so deep... Oh, MHL actually gets legged. So he does find a bit of purchase. That's all. Ooh, almost caught out on the rotation. Boosted player and now this split in towards B. Gets a little bit scary, but Fessel's in a great position to slow things down. Well timed Flames. Goofy's actually pushed on forward. Is that a shot? Th okay, it's through the smoke. I thought MHL maybe just missed his target and Goofy punishes... Surreal went down as well, so now Fesso on an island on the B site, out in the open. Minio swings. This one looks a lot better for Nine. It's going their favor. Of course, another rotation towards mid, so two on B itself. Duke is continuing to pressure over here. The bomb creeping its way back towards A ramp, though. The spunky 2 2 sat up on the T side. See if it works. Mighty Max on the off angle. Could disrupt everything, drops Hades. And the second as well. Fantastic adjustment from the IGL. Bomb dropped. Now he can just tuck on in here. The rotations can come on over. Goofy and Kyla have to fight their way out of a very disadvantageous position. They know where Mighty Max is, so the flames are going to come on over. They are a little shallow, although there's no smoke and just comes through at the last second to keep him alive. Someone's called there. Max, I've got a smoke. I've got a smoke. And then Max starts to panic. But it just makes it there in time and... Yeah, this is so difficult now. I'm a little bit surprised Endpoint are even fighting this. This one exert their numbers. Max is down. Surreal almost hits the deck. Gets a little bit scary. 25 seconds. Bomb is recovered. Surreal's low. But getting past MHL surely is the biggest hurdle. Miss shot. Oh, this is getting very nerve-wracking now. Bomb in hand. Seals the deal. Uh, a but really positive sign. See if they can continue it. 
going in towards mid. Kyla gets all the information and he is going to fall on back. Doesn't want anything to do with it as they push on up into this crossfire. The bullets don't quite connect. Eventually, Mighty Max finds the kill. Okay, tucked on in. Mighty Max with another jumping around the corner. Minio needs to deal with Fessel. There's a lot of T's coming around from the top site. Is able to win that duel. Giving them a chance here, but all three coming out from Rap. One has two HP. Mighty Max gets the information as well, so Endpoint are in a fantastic position. Mighty Max can tuck into sandbags. Very hard to clear him out. Two players over towards the site itself. One in short. So difficult to clear these positions, but Minio, okay, that's a good way of doing it. The kit's on the play with two HP though, so a stiff breeze will take him down, but maybe won't be needed as all the kills are coming through, but no, Heavy God saves the day with the triple. Nice and look at the pace from Endpoint. Straight out mid, this is really aggressive. Well, that change up pace in towards mid. Minio does find the first though, and Goofy can now support, ready for these players to pop on over. And Mitchell looking like he's ready to clear, and Goofy's stuck between two places. Doesn't matter. Adjust to both frags. Kylo also found Fessel. So every piece working out, and Hades is on a flank, so Heavy God not going to get anything done. The wow. pace towards yeah, he's faking it out, but uh, I almost feel like this fake out has actually enticed Hades to stick around a little bit more. If Minio finds this kill, which he should do, he might be able to rotate in time. No, Hades decided to fall back. The gamble stays in place. It's a 2v2 on the retake, and they've got kits. They've got smokes, they've got an incendiary. Minio needs to clear Fessor and he does it. All now onto MHL, tucked in behind, flashed off. It's a beautiful blinder. Now he has to fall all the way back. Looking like he wants to play close, tucked in. AK picked up by Hades, so two rifles to deal with. Sitting behind Wood. Moving around, keeping mobile, but spotted in transition. Hades takes him down and what a recovery. He's actually been having a much better game here on Vertigo than he was on Mirage. Goofy strikes first, Fessel falls. Hades is looking for his opponent with the AWP on the other side. Spots out the jump and all oh, the flick, even zooming in a little bit more to make it accurate. Mighty Max <laughs> holding for a push, but Kay just blindsides him, charging on down. And this one's falling apart before it can even really begin for the tears. What do you even do? What do you even do? Surreal Heavy God, everything in their power to isolate jewels. It's a nice kill from Heavy God, but in this sort of scenario, so much more work to be done. Surreal's trying to, in any way possible, isolate fights. Heavy God might be finding kills, but he's so low on HP. Hades knows to just... Completely forced endpoint back from B. Late lobby take, Fezzer's not ready. No idea. MHL, good trade. And Mini is in a spot of bother. There's two players out in mid at the moment. He needs some help from K, but K is so low that he's not going to be massively enticed to take a duel at the moment. As slowly but surely these players creep out mid. Max is actually going to push further through, so there's a big gap here. And where's that bomb headed? Key gets one. Big kill. But Max has still got a lot of space. And I don't think they know it, but A would have been the place to end. They're heading the wrong direction, and MHL feels seconds from his death. Minio jumps up, it might be one kill. But now, MHL against the world, one and two. Well, K is low, still managed to find two kills with that little HP. Might even add a third to the tally. These flashbangs again, MHL, no opportunity to really take a duel here. Hades is there from the heavens, comes on down, and nine take the series.